we are nearing the end of this financial year and I have already received a lot of messages about how to file income tax this year. This year we have two regimes, the old regime and new regime and we can choose which regime we want while filing the taxes. So I thought I'll put this in a video. So here is everything you need to know about income taxes in India. So in this episode, we will take a very simple example and we'll see how the income tax is calculated for individuals in India. So let's say you have a couple of incomes. One is your salary from your employment and second is the interest that you earn from your bank. For example, you have 6 lakhs as your salary from your employment. And in addition to that, you have 25,000 rupees as interest from FD. And you also got 11,000 rupees as interest from your savings account. And you got 5,000 rupees as interest from your RD. So in total, your total income will be 6,41,000 rupees. So this is your total income. So moving on, the next item is on deductions. Government provides a lot of deductions which you can effectively use to reduce your taxation. So there are two major classifications here. One is on the spendings. So, you know, if you spend on specific items like HRA, which is nothing but house rent allowance. So if you are living in a rented house, then you can claim some deductions. And likewise, there are other components like LTA, which is sleep travel allowance, food coupons, or, you know, fuel reimbursements. And there are a lot of other stuffs which you can claim under your spendings. And likewise, you can invest in few specific investments like uh, VPF, EPF, PPF, National Savings Certificate, NPS, ELSS. So these are all, you know, few commonly used investment options which can be used to claim the deductions. So even uh, you can uh, donate some amount and you can claim it under ATG. So these are various investment and spending options which can be used to claim deductions. We will talk about every single item in the forthcoming chapters. Every single item will be talked about in detail in the forthcoming sessions. For now, just understand you can do some spendings and you can claim it as deductions and you can invest something and you can claim it as deductions from your total income. In addition to this, there are few other tax exemptions provided by the government. So I have listed a couple of items here, but there are few other items as well. So these are the two commonly used items. One is your interest up to 10,000 rupees from your savings account will be completely tax exempted. That's number one. And number two, your long-term capital gains up to 1 lakh are completely tax exempted. So these are all two commonly used options. Uh, we will discuss about the other options available in the forthcoming sessions. Lastly, you have to calculate your taxable income so that you can calculate the total taxes that you need to pay. As mentioned earlier, your total income is 6,41,000. So 6,41,000 minus any deductions that you are going to claim here will be your taxable income. So let's see it with an example. So for example, you have earned 6 lakhs rupees as your salary and consider you got HRA approval for 50,000 rupees and you have invested 1.5 lakhs rupees in the investment options that we have discussed earlier. So you can reduce the two items from your 6 lakh rupees. So, you know, for your taxable income, you have to use this 6 lakhs, which is your income, and you have to reduce this 50k and 1.5 lakhs. And now, moving on to the next item, you got 25,000 rupees as interest from your FD. There are no exemptions for this. This will be completely taxable. So, you have to add it to your taxable income. And on the third item, you got 11,000 rupees as interest from your savings account. And as mentioned earlier, interest up to 10,000 rupees will be completely exempted from the tax. So I'm adding this 11K and reducing this 10K. And finally, you have 5,000 rupees as interest from RD. And there are no exemptions for that. So I'm directly adding it to my taxable income. So your taxable income will be 
in total 4 lakh 31000 rupees so this is your taxable income so your total income was 6 lakh 41000 but after these exemptions and deductions your taxable income will be 4 lakh 31000 rupees so the next item is we need to find the income tax so your income is taxed generally according to your income tax slab so this is the slab rate for the financial year 2020-2021 if you choose old income tax regime currently the government provides two options you can go with old regime or you can go with new regime so this is the slab rate for old regime for taxable income between 0 to 2.5 lakhs the slab rate is 0 percent for taxable income between 2.5 lakhs to 5 lakhs the tax rate is 5 percentage for taxable income between 5 lakhs to 10 lakhs that slab rate is 20 percentage and for the income about 10 lakhs the slab rate is 30 percentage but uh, if your total income tax is between 2.5 lakhs to 5 lakhs the government gives 100 percent rebate so this is 100 percentage exempted note if your total taxable income is less than 5 lakhs then government gives 100 percent rebate that is 100 percent tax exemption so you don't have to pay any income tax if your total taxable income is below 5 lakhs and if you are opting for old regime so in our case the total taxable income after the deductions will be 4.3 lakhs so my effective income tax will be zero i don't have to pay any income tax but still i need to file itr we'll discuss about this later but in case if i'm opting for a new regime okay so i mentioned earlier that we have two options now we can opt for old regime or we can opt for new regime but if you opt for new regime you will not be provided any exemptions on your income so all these exemptions that we have talked about earlier right all these will no longer be applicable so you need to take your total income and you have to apply the slab rates immediately on that you don't have to reduce any exemptions or uh, any deductions okay that is not allowed under the new regime but the beauty is you know um, your tax slab will be bit less for example right uh, for the income between 5 to 7.5 l tax slab uh, is 10 percentage and for 7.5 lakhs to 10 lakhs the slab rate is 15 percentage but if you look at here right for the income between 5 to high lakh to 10 lakh right it is 20 percent slab rate so it, this uh, this is very low in the new regime but as mentioned earlier it do, does not provide any tax exemptions uh, in, from for most of the components so even the interest up to 10 lakhs from your savings account is taxable in your hands so it is up to the individual to decide which regime is useful for you so you need to you know consider all the factors like your total income your uh, deductions and then you will have to finally make a call on which regime you need to opt for there are a lot of online calculators available as well and you can feed in but in simple terms right uh, if you don't want to submit any proofs if you don't want to you know uh, uh, show any investments right uh, and if you don't want to claim any deductions in simple words if you are too lazy you can opt for new regime uh, uh, and you know if you are uh, you know totally into investments and uh, you know if you are claiming all the exemptions like HRA, LTA and all those stuffs right you can opt for old regime but uh, new regime is uh, generally useful for people who are lazy but um, um, for most of the people old regime is still beneficial so this is the slab rate for the financial year 2020-2021 under the new tax regime so i don't want to go into the details you can see it yourself just like i have explained earlier these are all the tax slab rates for this income range so if your total income is uh, between 2.5 lakhs to 5 lakhs right government gives 100 percent exemption on your tax under the new regime as well so if your total income is below 5 lakhs you don't have to pay any taxes your taxes will be zero but for our example that we have discussed earlier right the total income is 6 lakh 41 thousand 
and like i mentioned earlier these exemptions are not allowed under new regime so the total amount the entire amount will be taxable amount so 641000 will be my taxable income so now you need to calculate the, you know what is your taxes so here is the calculation for the taxation so out of the 641000 rupees the first 2.5 lakhs that is 0 to 2.5 lakhs is not taxed so there is no tax for this amount and for the next 2.5 lakhs that is from 2.5 lakh to 5 lakh you need to apply 5% tax so if you apply the 5% tax on this 2.5 lakhs you will have to pay 12.5k as tax and now we are only left with 1.41 lakhs because uh, out of this 6.41 lakh we have already uh, paid tax for 2.5 lakhs and another 2.5 lakhs so i am reducing this 2.5 and 2.5 from 6.41 so now we are left with 1.41 lakhs which is taxed at 10 percentage so if you look at here right the income between 5 to 7.5 lakhs will be taxed at 10 percentage so this 1.4 lakhs will be taxed at 10 percentage so you need to pay 14.1 k as tax for this particular component so 0 plus 12.5 k plus 14.1 k equal to 26.6 k this is your total income tax that you need to pay so you need to pay 26.6 k as your income tax if you are opting for new regime so like I mentioned earlier, this new regime will be suitable only for a limited number of people. All others will be better off with the old regime. So use this episode and try to calculate the income tax for you under old and new regime. And you can decide yourself which regime will be suitable for you. So this example that we have discussed is a very, very simple example because we have considered only salary and uh, you know interest from fd rd and savings account but there are a lot of other scenarios as well something like long term capital gains from stocks and mutual funds uh, short term capital gains from stocks and mutual funds if you have a business income if you have a rental income uh, so there are a lot of other scenarios that uh, will come into play and we can discuss about every single item of it in the forthcoming episodes and there are other uh, you know terminologies like uh, ITR, uh, TDS, TCS so we will discuss about every single aspect of income tax uh, in the forthcoming episodes so hope this session was useful if you have any queries please let us know in the comment section we'll be happy to help you out thanks for watching have a great day Goodbye.